Om Shanti, welcome back to the video in the recording of 10th of August Godly Blessing. Now here in this blessing, Supreme Father wants us to leave all the limited desires. When we renounce the limited desires, the desires, the wants, that's where we can get connected to the Supreme Being, the Supreme Energy and it becomes easier to attain everything in our life. You see, we either try to push things around, move things around, force things around, manipulate things around, control things around or we simply get connected to the supreme infinite energy and then things come to us. So let's go ahead and understand what is this exactly mean. God says, may you become full of all attainments by becoming good at renouncing all limited desires, a very deeper knowledge. So God says those who have limited desires can never have their desires fulfilled because they might attain something, a physical success, a success in the three-dimensional world and a physical world out there or the physical body conscious world out there but inside the emptiness will still be there. So God says all the pure desires, pure desires of those who become good are automatically fulfilled. Now here good means that you have first desires of helping other people, having other people, wanting other people to do better in their life. And when you have desires of helping other people to do better in their life and your heart is thinking, then your mind doing the thinking. That means you're doing the thinking not from a physical heart but from a feeling center. And the feeling center is within the soul itself. The mind is within the soul, the feeling center is within the soul and even the habits are within the soul. When you're working with the feeling center, the field of the feeling center is higher, the emotional center, provided it is pure. Now, if there is selfishness, then the desires never get fulfilled. We still feel that we are limited because the unlimited is out there and the limited is what we are feeling right now. So God says that if you have pure desires, then they are automatically fulfilled. The children of the bestower do not need to ask for anything. The law says stop asking for things in the physical world. Stop wanting or desiring things in the physical world. They'll come to you at the right time provided you have an aim higher than yourself. Now yourself means, I'll add a word in between, your physical self. When you have desires which are more than your physical needs and physical desires. See, when we don't have any attachment to the physical identity which we have right now. When we are detached from the physical identity. When we have removed ourselves from accepting anything of the physical identity or physical norm or the physical name or the physical fame and the physical desires, that's where we feel fulfilled. Otherwise, every single step we take, we feel empty. Any higher thing which we attain in our life, whether wealth, whether name, whether fame, whether finances, whether getting a promotion, whether getting a car, whether getting a house, Anything which we do in the external still feels empty. It is just for the sake of that particular moment that the high feeling comes. And then it is gone. Then we again chase behind it. So God says, to ask for something means you have a desire. And you cannot receive anything when you ask for it. If your thought of doing unlimited service is without any limited desire, that means I want money out of it, I want name out of it, I want some kind of fame out of it, I want recognition out of it, I want people to call me only, I want people to desire me only, they want me, they want me to be there. So without any limited desire, it will definitely be fulfilled and this is why you have to adopt the method of becoming good without having any limited desire. Now, this is the thing which majority people do and majority people can't do also. In simple words, it is something which is difficult for people to live, leave because people have been living with it. The name, the fame, the importance which people get out of, it's like a getting a kick out of things, getting a kick out of life, getting a kick out of desires, getting fulfilled physical worldly desires, getting a kick out of when people recognize you, getting a kick out of when you get success in life, success in the outer world, the three dimensional world, the physical world and God says this is where your emptiness never goes. So what exactly is the desire which we need to have? This is when we start giving to other people, not on the physical material basis, but somewhere we help them to connect to the higher consciousness within. For that, we ourselves need to first get connected to that higher consciousness, which is known as the soul within, and then the creator of the soul, not the physical creator, 
but the creation in terms of knowledge in terms of conscious knowledge in terms of subconscious knowledge given by the supreme creator the supreme soul so when we share this service and we help other people out that's where our own needs which are not needed by us get fulfilled out of nowhere you won't even come to know that you didn't even think about it and it happened with you something which you never ever thought about it will happen with you in a very large scale because you are thinking in a large scale to serve others this is the secret this is the blind spot now how do you do that is what we learn on a daily basis in brahma kumaris you too can go ahead and learn this in a deeper way and that too for free not being charged any money for that with this om shanti